All right, today at the little house, we're doing some demolition of the wall between the dining room and... The microphone on. It's on. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> today at the little house, we are going to do some demo um, between the kitchen and the dining area, taking down the wall to enlarge the kitchen. And what Van is doing is putting uh, plastic up between the living room and dining area to help keep the dust down and keep it off of everything. Now I'm going to go through the tiny kitchen so you can see. He's already taken the framework off of the doorway here, covered up the refrigerator. There he is on that side. Here's our temporary wall. And this is the wall we're taking down over here and over here to enlarge the whole kitchen space. This will enable us to completely reconfigure the kitchen because it is so tiny, but it will seem much larger once we're done. All right, what I'm about to do. He's saying what he's about to do. Is I punched a hole through the drywall. He punched a hole through the drywall. Now I'm going to take my reciprocating saw. He's going to take the reciprocating saw. With a blade and just take out the drywall up and down. And take out the drywall all the way up and all the way down. <laughs> Walls of 1947 have now come down. That's it. Well, what I'm about to do is enter the kitchen area and I'll show you how we remove the one wall. And it After we started removing the drywall from the previous wall, we discovered that they have what is called a double top plate. And I bet this should have just been a room divider. So we're going to leave that and call it our header. And we're going to leave this one that the double top plate is sitting on top of. Now we can see how the flooring was done. In the old days, that's your subflooring right there. All right, and then they'd build up from there. Looks like we got about three layers of flooring. Jane did a fantastic job on being able to help me take down this drywall. Now we got some patches we got to do. We got a really good one around here that we didn't mean to do. Nice little size hole right there. And our safety wall, when we first got here, I ripped a three-quarter inch extra piece to hide, to go in between uh, the top of our eight foot wall and the ceiling, which means that this ceiling is more than eight feet. And that would have been 1947 design. So there is no pressure whatsoever on that board. So uh, we won't be returning for a few days. And uh, we've got the electrician coming tomorrow to address this for us because it needs to be moved. And for right now, <laughs> we've got a great tape 
and drywall screws to, to hold it in place so the refrigerator can run. So anyway, so this is what, where we are right now. We, we just to be on the safety side, we built this safety wall, which is just a makeshift stud wall that we came up with. But I am Van. And I'm Jane. Through her mask. <laughs> we are the Backyard Carpenters. Baby Boomers can do.